Hello out there, everybody doing out there today? I'm Chris Grizzard, and today we're going to take a look around Oxford, North Carolina, as well as Roxborough, North Carolina. So, let's go check these towns out. This is the Granville History Museum. Oxford is the county seat of Granville County. They're open Tuesdays through Thursdays. Tad bit windy today. Cool little alleyway. That's a neat little structure there. Sit down. The Orpheum Theater. You can see that on my Instagram as a, a fan of the old theater buildings. Different things to do right here. Parks, and the memorial, museums, historic homes, and food. Samuel Benton, the founder of Oxford. Was a legislator and sheriff of Granville County. His home stood two blocks north of here. And John Penn, North Carolina signer of the Declaration of Independence. That's a cool building. Tobacco Wood Brewing Company. Let's go check this out. Adult real cheese. Pimento cheese with pulled pork. Some mush puppies. A coffee stout. And this is a tobacco wood, Borley, the first in North Carolina that's owned by all women veterans. So that's pretty cool. It's the corner of Main and Little John Street, as you can see the North Carolina hot sauce contest. Sidewalk. Here at the Courier Times, the newspaper for Oxford. Come across these old cameras, Nicromat, Sony, another Nicromat. Cool. This installation here is called Wishes. It's in reference to the little dandelion flowers you find that you blow and make a wish off of while also creating more dandelions that's what this is we could get a better view the art walk This is the Mammon. Serves as a loose homage to Louis Bergoy. This is the Main Street Historical District. In memory of the Patriots and Revolutionary Soldiers of Granville County. station. Look at the cars. It's a white one. And I believe the black one's probably the newer version of the police cars.
Oxford Female College. Opened in 1851 by Baptists and operated by individuals after 1857. Franklin P. Hobgood has his own city, well, town, actually in Halifax County. Hopgood. I'm guessing this is the school. That looks like a school as well, but that's City Hall. That's a pretty cool building. That's the City Hall. Oxford. Oh, now 158. This is a cool installation here called Core. It's on Hillsborough Street. It's scanned that, I guess. I don't know if it'll work or not from the screen, but give it a shot. This is the CG Cruddle School. Don't see any a lot of historical signage on it, but obviously it's a historical building. Thought it looked pretty cool, so I figured I'd show it. And then some uh, mosaic stepping stones. It's pretty cool cast iron fencing. This caught my eye. There's also a lot of historical homes here on College Street. But James E. Webb is from here, 1906 to 1992. And he led NASA 61 to 68 for Mercury, Gemini, and early Apollo. He established Johnson Kennedy Space Centers and lived one block west of here. That's pretty cool. This is the old Mary Potter School shop building. Came across this sign here. It's a restoration project. The African American Civil Rights of the 20th Century Grant. Contributors of Home Depot, Covenant Foundation. Try to save these historic buildings. That's pretty cool there. Old shop building. Not too far from downtown. Well, I guess it basically is downtown. And there's the fire station. This is the corner of New College in East Clayham. This is considered East Oxford. Well, that was a look at what Oxford has in their downtown district. So let's go ahead, ride down 150 a little ways, and check out Roxborough. Okay, about 20 miles west of Oxford. Head down 158 and find Roxborough. So we're going to take the rocks and the pigs and they have come to the end. Right here at Hall's Way, the nice mural of Roxborough, downtown Roxborough, and the seal of Roxborough and Pearson County, the tobacco, and the old cabin, church, and whatnot. This is right here at the Pavilion, Main Street Pavilion, near the Commons. The Korean War Monument here in Roxborough at the Person County Courthouse. Cool man sign, the Roxborough State Laundry Company. Person County. Veterans Memorial. 
Robert Lester Blackwell, born in October of 1895, October 4th to be exact, the son of a lieutenant farmer, fought in World War I, it's Parson County Courthouse, Wilburn in Satterfield Building, 1925. This is South Main. This was built in 1932. The courthouse grounds, however, have been here since 72, I mean, 1792. It's the third courthouse on these grounds. Here at the corner of Main and Court. It's like that kind of facade. Welcome to Uptown Roxboro, Person County, North Carolina. Pretty cool mural. We have this is some artwork by Sam Easel. Here in Uptown Roxboro, the Curry Cultural Arts Complex. Some more going on up here. So if you don't know that one, you can get a good look at it. Wind blowing mighty hard. That's North Carolina. Little Pond's hut. Roxboro Police Department, right there across the street. Down this cool alleyway. Kind like an old graffiti alley. This is pretty cool. Main Street Grande. Glory waving. Ring around like signs like that, so that'll probably that will be on my Instagram. Roxboro building. Right across the street from the Roxboro Savings Bank and City of Roxboro Community Project. Not sure what that's going to be. The game exchange. A lot of cool stuff here in Roxboro, uptown Roxboro, North Carolina. The Kirby Theater. The theater is now a arts council. Some of local art pieces. Nice cool, the old ticket counter. Oh, Sega sign, PlayStation sign, Genesis, Game Boy, Madden 10, Palomano with Fitzgerald on the cover, Original Mortal Kombat, The Simpsons game, some furniture over there, it's cool too, but Main Street, 
grand. That's super cool. It's a lot of architecture in a small town. Painted palette. One of my favorite buildings there, here. Uh, of course, the Kirby Theater. I like theaters. I like old bank buildings. This is the nutrition, the news jeweler. 1905. Well, that was a look at Roxboro. So we've seen Roxboro, seen Oxford. I uh, hope you enjoyed this video. Um, so if you get a chance, go ahead and take a trip down US 158 and check out Oxford and check out Roxboro. Thank you and have a good day.